Has the netting helped? Um, it has definitely helped with deer. It's kind of a pain when I have to get in there and like weed. Yeah. Or grab things or um, like tuck tomatoes inside the um, cages. Yeah. Like this needs to go up here. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of been a pain. And like it's starting, like in some places it'll start to grow through. So I have to kind of yeah. undo it a little bit before it gets too big. This one's becoming a monster quickly. Yeah. But um, there's a tomato on this the other day that I ate. You can see one's turning red. Yeah. Oh, um, you ate one? It was... I, yeah, it was redder than that. But um, I was like, wow, look how red it is. But because red and green are compliments, it looked redder on the vine. And I took it off and I was like, oh, this is orange. And it wasn't very good. <sighs> yeah, I could have let it ripen on the counter, but I didn't. No. I ate it. <laughs> but okay. like, there's a really huge jalapeno down here. And there's some more, but there's a really big one along the stem. Yeah, that's big. So, and there's like little ones coming from the uh, poblanos, and there's uh, a bell pepper like about this big. Okay. And the watermelon's starting to finally do something. Yep. Do I got any zucchinis today? I cut two yesterday. The zucchini is wild. Yeah, the zucchini's wild. I don't think there's a zucchini today. It's about every three or four days we get one. And there's two in the fridge right now. They've been good when you've been cooking them up. Yeah. I've been uh, slicing them and then like pan frying them with some tahini. And mm -hmm. it's just delicious. Yeah. Yeah, this one will probably be my next one right here. This guy. Yeah. So that'll be another like two days, I think. Cool. But I'm yeah, excited. I've been dealing with a lot of different pests. I yeah. feel like every week it's like, oh, well now you have blight. Yeah. Which is what's going on with this tiny tomato. Oh. So, I'm supposed to get some stuff for that today. Well, I am excited about everything. I know uh -huh. that it's been a bit of a struggle, but we're getting close. Yeah. You've done really well, Mel. And the zucchini have at least worked out really good. Yeah, they have. And the peppers are bouncing back from the deer. Yeah. A little bit. So... It's crazy. I, I can still remember whenever you and Jepson were out here planting stuff. I know. Everything's gotten so big. Yeah. This, I just never expected this to be such a monster. If I do zucchini again in the future, I'm going to grow it vertical. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you can put a stake down. You have to do it when you plant it so you don't mess up the roots. Yeah. But you just, like, keep tying it to the stake. And, like, all the leaves below where the zucchini are currently growing, um don't do anything for the plant yeah so i've been slowly like trimming some of them off because they're just so big yeah they're huge bomb 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 oh. yeah. wow <laughs> wow i didn't I didn't know I was that close. It was Zelda night, and we got to play some more Zelda, although we actually played a little less Zelda. <laughs> a little less Zelda, just because um, it was a, a very chaotic night. There was a, a fair bit of chaos in the chat tonight. Um, there were several, probably several key individuals who led uh, some chaos this evening, and we had a fun time. We had a fun time, but uh, the breaks ended up being long, and uh, we only played uh, three episodes instead of our, our typical um, four. That being said, everyone seemed to have a great time, and uh, I was extremely amused because uh, we've been doing these alerts as part of the Tears of the Kingdom streams where um, folks get to have uh, a food item created. It's kind of in the same vein as Tiny Yeti, but it's modeled after the cooking sequences from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And the fun thing about those is that they are custom made. Like, they are made by one of my friends. We we have we have access to this thing that Chaz made, where we can, like, create recipes, just like in the games. So every time one of these alerts is on screen, like, it was made by, like, Chaz or Thomas or Haley or Juliet or, you know, whoever. So tonight things got really chaotic and there was a lot of alerts coming in and the, the breaks were really long and we ran out of cooking alerts. 
And I guess, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but um, it was there was a lot more than Chaz was expecting. So, like, Chaz, I guess, reached out to Thomas, like, as he saw that we were getting close and was like, oh, we need to make more of these. So, at one point this evening, Thomas and Haley and Juliet were all, like, frantically making like new cooking alerts so they would show up and it was hilarious. It was so funny. And it, it was interesting because it ended up being like there was a new level of humor to some of the alerts as a result because they were just, you could tell in some of them they were like pretty frantically written. And uh, I loved it. I was la- I, I actually laughed so hard during stream that I cried. And it was great. It was a really good evening. As far as the actual gameplay is concerned, uh, Zelda continues to be really cool. And uh, we discovered, like, a new, I guess, a, what you would call a new gameplay mechanic um, today. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, there were, I don't remember what they were called in game now, but, like, the the different heroes or guardians or whoever they were, like, you had their spirit tokens with you and you could, like, activate them to do things. And in this game... Um, I mean, I don't know exactly how it works, but it looks like you're going to be able to have the act- like actual companions traveling with you a little bit because we met one of the little dudes who can, you know, be near you. I don't know what the spe- the specifications are. I don't know if like he's always near you or if he can- if it's just for this section. I'm not exactly sure, but like it was a completely new mechanic that was separate from Breath of the Wild and I was like, "Oh, that's really neat." So, Tears of the Kingdom continues to surprise me. And it's been fun. It's been really fun to see that and to see, you know, what's going to happen next. So anyway, I should probably get the stream all shut off because it's <laughs> it's still on. But that's fine. Um, actually, I'm like, I can hear the game. I'm realizing that I left. Yeah, I left the game on. Whoops. I need to, I, I did save. Right. Yes, 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 I saved. Okay, so I'm good. So I can I can go ahead and close the, the, the software. Cool. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I This was stream six, and I, I... It's hard because we only play once a week, and I'm okay with that, right? Like, it's okay that it's only being... It's only happening once a week, but, like, again, I, I love video games. Like, it's still like, ah, I really want to play. And then tonight, because all the stuff went long, um, you know, normally the audience is on my side of like, hey, let's do another one. And the audience tonight was like, you're about to go into a section that's super long and you should not jump into it tonight. And I was like, oh my God, even the audience is like, you should stop. So apparently next week we're jumping into something really long. So I guess we'll see what that's about, but I'm looking forward to it. I've had a lot of fun with this game. And we got to explore a sky thing. That's the other thing is we actually got off the beaten path tonight. We got off the beaten path for a little bit and we explored something completely different and it was so cool and it ended up being like really worth it. I don't know. That that sense of exploration is what makes this game so much fun. I love that. And then problem solving and being creative and, and things like that. Okay, I'm done. I just like to talk about how good Zelda is. Uh, I'm probably going to get in bed here soon. We're actually getting up pretty early in the morning. Um, Raleigh Retro Gamers is doing a, um, event, uh, in Raleigh, obviously. And, uh, this is, I I forget what they called it. This is their summer expo. They said there's going to be 70 vendors and there's going to be music. I assume there's going to be food. They're basically taking over the entirety of Moore Square, and uh, it sounds like there's going to be a lot there. And they're like, it's going to be, you know, retro games and trading cards and comics and, like, all this cool, like, you know, geek stuff. And uh, we're, we're – me and Mao and Josh, at least, are definitely going tomorrow. I don't know if Alex and Haley are coming or not. Um, not sure. Dan and Dan and Brandon are out of town, so I don't know who exactly is coming, but at least the three of us will be there. So that's in the morning, so I need to get some sleep. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?